Facebook Page Marketing One of the most obvious ways to market on Facebook is to set up a fan page for your business, your brand, or your cause. Facebook actively promotes this feature of its website. What it doesn't tell you is the fact that Facebook has been actively modifying its algorithm to the point that you're going to have to have very popular content for you to reach most of the people who have expressed interest in whatever it is you're promoting. Put simply, not all the people who liked your page will get to see your updates. In fact, in most cases, only a small fraction of those people will get to see your updates. Sadly, Facebook is actively working to limit the free traffic exposure you would get until you can prove to it that your content is really popular with your page's fans. Here are the steps you should follow to market on Facebook. Step number one, find your competitors on Facebook. The first thing that you need to do is to avoid reinventing the wheel. You need to avoid trying to figure things out on a completely hit or miss basis. Instead, reverse engineer your competitors. Let them do your homework for you. How? We'll find them on Facebook and learn from what they are doing. Step number two, get the industry standard look and come up with your own take. Every niche has an industry standard in terms of social media profile, brand appearance, and content strategy. The sooner you understand this, the sooner you will be poised to achieve social media marketing success on Facebook. The longer it takes you to learn this, the longer you will struggle. Understand that your niche audience has become familiar with how certain brands or websites are positioned on social media. If they can't make heads or tails of your social media brand, they probably would not like your page. It may seem weird to them because it seems so far off from the industry standard. Your job at this step is to figure out the industry standard look, content strategy, and other elements and come up with your own take. Step number three, reverse engineer your competitor's content strategy and curate. Lots of business owners would post hot content on their social media accounts as well as their blogs. Sadly, Nine times out of ten, that content goes nowhere. People don't click on it, share it, comment, or otherwise engage. What these publishers are doing is basically gambling their content would resonate with their audience. Don't do that. Instead, pay attention to what your competitors are doing and look for patterns. If you notice that your competitors keep sharing content regarding the same type of theme or topic, they may be onto something. They wouldn't waste all this time, effort, and energy talking about the same stuff over and over unless, of course, it connects to their audience at some level or another and produced results. Now, to verify this, look at how many times that piece of content got shared or liked. That should give you some sort of objective proof that this content actually resonates with your target audience members. When you reverse engineer your competitors, you are essentially copying their strategy to reach the same eyeballs that you're trying to reach. This also applies to content curation where you take content that is published by other people and you promote it on your social media platform. This creates a win-win situation because you're not ripping off this content. You are copying the content's link, including a short commentary, and allowing people to click on the link. This creates a win-win situation. The publishers of this content get traffic, you get to build credibility because you're sharing information that your target audience members would actually be interested in, and this leads to the possibility that they would like your page. Once you have built up enough page likes, you can then start sharing your own content, which leads to direct traffic to your website. Step number four, pick the best performing or most popular type of content and scale up. Post content for a few weeks, keep publishing, and then look at the content that gets the most engagement. Which shared materials get the most likes, the most shares, the most comments? At some point, you're going to ignore other types of content and focus on the ones that perform the best. For example, if you have a Facebook page on Chihuahuas and you notice that third-party articles on Chihuahua houses get a lot of shares, likes, and comments, you might want to eliminate most other types of content and focus on Chihuahua houses because those get the most love from your audience. Step number five, come up with your own version. Come up with your own version of winning content. For example, you know that Chihuahua houses get a lot of love and are very popular on your page. Come up with your own articles about that topic. These articles, of course, drive traffic directly to your blog or your online store. These have to be at the same level of quality as your third-party content or better. Pay attention to how your curated popular content talks about the topic and adopt the same style but deliver something better. Maybe you should offer longer information more up-to-date information, or blog posts that have multimedia elements like videos and graphics. Whatever you need to do, come up with content that basically 
blows away all the other content that you feature on your page. Step number six, promotions, photo tagging by your users. This is a free promotion technique. Tell your page fans that you're going to give them some sort of digital freebie. Maybe it's a graphic badge. Maybe you're going to mention their name on a post. Maybe you're going to give them a free ebook or some sort of free software. Whatever the case may be, tell the people who like your page to tag their friends on photos that you're going to post. Now, these photos, of course, must draw attention to your brand, your website, or your Facebook page. You're not just having them tag a photo. This photo has to say something. It should be promotional in nature. The more photo tags you get, the higher the chance that you will get a lot more page likes and also clicks to your website from Facebook. The best news? You don't have to offer money. In fact, studies indicate that money offers aren't all that effective. It's much better to offer some sort of specialty graphic or digital goodie like a free book or booklet, or maybe a discount code. Step number seven, promotions. Comments by your users. Use the same rules as in step six, but instead of photo tagging, get your page fans to post comments. It would also help tremendously if the comment includes the name of the people on the commenter's friends list. I leave it up to you how to craft this, but obviously, the more tags there are in the comments, and the more engaging the comments, the more popular your posts become. Step number eight, call your users to action. If you have people who have already liked your page, post occasional reminders to them that they should invite their friends. This works because birds of a feather flock together. Seriously, the main reason why you are friends with people in the first place is because they share roughly the same set of interests as you. People who share basically the same pool of interest tend to attract each other. Take advantage of this fact by calling your page fans to action so they can invite their friends. Step number nine, use insights to promote your page. As much as possible, I would go through step one to step eight and master all steps before I go ahead with step nine. With step nine, you're going to be shelling out money to promote your page. After a couple of months, you can use Facebook's very robust audience profiling system called Insights to promote your page. You will know the right demographic, and you will also know the right posts and content to promote. Step number 10. Boost your most popular content. Use Facebook's lookalike audience system to find people who are not currently fans of your page. This feature in Facebook's ad system enables you to reach new audiences who share roughly the same interests as the people who have already demonstrated an interest in your page. You're basically using Facebook's very powerful interest targeting system in terms of demographics and interests to get new eyeballs to your page. This can lead to more likes, which can lead to more readers of your content. From that point, you can then run targeted ads. 